Hey everybody, good morning. Dr. Jono here from Glock Orthodontics. Got another uh, training video for our team. Uh, this one is gonna be about measuring overbite and overjet. And these two uh, data points relate to how the front teeth fit together. So the top and bottom anterior teeth. Uh, overbite is a measure of the up and down vertical overlap of those teeth. Overjet is a measure of the forward backward uh, overlap of the teeth. So we'll start with the overbite. There are a couple of different ways to measure it. You can either measure it in terms of millimeters. So the millimeter overlap of the top teeth over the bottom teeth, or you can measure it as a percentage, which is what we prefer to do here uh, for various reasons. So what we'll think about is how tall are these lower anterior teeth? And when the patient's teeth are in occlusion or when they bite down, what percentage of the anatomy or the full kind of incisal gingival length of this tooth is covered by the upper tooth when it bites down. So this is an example. Say the patient bit like that. That's a really crazy bite, but let's say they bit like that. 0% of the tooth on the bottom is covered by the top tooth. So you would say that's a 0% overbite. It's actually an open bite, but just for that example. So when this model comes into occlusion, you can see about 25% of the lower anterior tooth is covered by the upper anterior tooth when they bite down. And you don't have to be accurate to a single percent, somewhere in the five to 10% range is fine. Um, so we would call this 25% overbite. And we could also measure it where we could say, okay, this tooth is however long, how long is this tooth? Eight millimeters. When this bites down, or when the patient bites down, about two millimeters of the bottom tooth is covered by the top. Again, that's around 25%. So the range of overbite could be anywhere from zero, which we talked about, or it could even be what's called an open bite if the teeth don't overlap at all. It could be all the way to 100, where the top teeth completely cover the bottom teeth where you don't see that at all. We would also call that a deep bite. So that's overbite as measured by a percentage. Now overjet relates to how far the top front teeth are out, sort of horizontally overlapping the bottom teeth. In this one, we will do a, a millimeter measurement. So you can use uh, something like this, like a small millimeter ruler, uh, or you can use a perio probe. Um, or if you do this enough, you can do the eyeball method. Um, and the way we'll measure this is, let's look here is we'll look at the incisal edge of the top front tooth, and we'll see what is the overlap of the top incisal edge relative to the labial surface of the lower anterior tooth. So if we place our ruler somewhere like this, we just take a look at it, we say, okay, that's around three millimeters of overjet. So there's a three millimeter distance from this tooth to the labial surface of the bottom front tooth. Uh, if you may have something like this, let's see here, where we have a little bit more overjet. It's a little bit longer. If I take my ruler, that's more like nine or 10 millimeters of overjet. You could also have zero as well. If the teeth are biting right on top of each other, which is what we would call an edge to edge bite. Or you could even have overjet expressed as a negative number if the lower man or if the lower anterior teeth are actually ahead of the upper anterior teeth. So that may be, let me get my ruler, something like, we'll call that like a negative one over jet or actually an underbite. So if you remember from the other video, when we talked about molar classification, you can see I still have my lines here, is we can also go over how overbite and overjet is related to molar classification, really overjet more than overbite. So if we set up this patient to have a large overjet, again, that 10 millimeter overjet, you can see that's associated with a class two molar occlusion. Or if we put the patient into a underbite, we'll call it like a negative two millimeter overjet, somewhere right around there, that's associated with a class three occlusion of the posterior teeth. You'll see all of these relate in terms of patterns, and how the teeth fit together. But just as a recap, we'll measure overbite as a percentage of how, what percentage 
The bottom front teeth are overlapped by the top front teeth, could be anywhere from zero to 100. Uh, if it's an open bite, just to make things a little more confusing, we'll usually express that as a measure of millimeters. So that may be a one millimeter open bite, that may be a six millimeter open bite, somewhere around there. So we did overbite and then we did overjet, which is forward backward measurement, how much the top teeth overlap the bottom. Hope this was helpful.